and today I'm a knight in shining armor. I'm here to defeat the dragon. You mean dragonfly? Ooh! All right, today we are making the staple of Halloween candy. We are going to be making candy corn cookies. And I'm gonna trap it with my sword. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. All right, so we have a prepackaged mixture for sugar cookies right here in our big mixing bowl. What we need to do is we need to mix it all and then we need to separate two thirds of it into other bowls so we can add food coloring mm -hmm. so we can make our cookies look like candy corn, right? Yeah. yeah. In order to do the cutout sugar cookies, it says that we need to add three tablespoons of flour. It says we need one egg. Do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. You can put it in here. When you're done. No, no, put it in here. Put the shell in there. <laughs> and then it says a melted stick of butter. So I do not. Have, this is not melted. So we're gonna do that real quick. But it is soft. It's soft already, but it's not melted. Nope. So we're gonna pop this in the microwave. For at least like maybe 10 seconds. Mm, yeah, something like that. Paxton's gonna give you guys a little pep talk about what a... Candy corn is. Yes. So here we go. We, we are making the stick. We're making the candy corn. We're inventing the candy corn in this kitchen today. And so here we go. I'm gonna make that outline over the candy corn. You guys can see the outline. The outline of the candy corn. Now, I'm gonna do the middle. We're gonna conquer the middle. No, it's kind of orange, you can see that. Now, the yellow is pretty bright. We're gonna conquer the bottom. Yellow. There we go. So yellow, orange, white. There is the candy corn. So we have the white zone, the orange zone, and the yellow zone. And they all have sugar in it. Corn. Right here, candy corn. So, team, we're going to make this candy corn real. To make this candy corn come to life. Not just in a picture, but actually make it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that pep talk from mm -hmm. Baxton. Yeah. We have our melted butter. Ooh, mm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So. It smells like popcorn if you didn't know. Paxton, we need a spoon for this. Spoon me. I wish. To file jungles, and I got your stone. Jungles? Hmm. The wild jungle. Sounds dangerous. That's why I put my helmet down. I love sugar cookies. Do you? Yeah, they have a lot of sugar in them. Are they your favorite cookie, though? No, I think M&M is mine. What's your favorite cookie? Um... I like chocolate chip. Oh, but I also really like cookies that have um, like Reese's Pieces in them. Yeah, that is good. Comment down below your favorite um, cookie in, your, in, in the comments. Yeah, tell Ooh. us your favorite cookie. Ooh. All right, this is getting a little tough to stir now. Yeah. So. That's good. I'm going to try it. No, 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 no. Why? Because I'm going to use my hands. Oh, I want to. Hey, I'm, love, I'm better using it my hands because I use my hands a lot. <laughs> we all use our hands a lot. Actually, I think you used your hands more because you've been alive more, longer. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I think you use your hands longer. But in this video, I use my hands longer. Are you done? You can let go now. <laughs> it's so satisfying. We need to take two-thirds of this. Oh, that's so and good. And put 
one third in each bowl. So here we go. Mm, so good. We're ready for some food coloring. Here we go. One, two, three bowls, three colors. Let's get this party started. So we're going to save this one. We're not going to do anything to that one because that one is going to be our white topping. Squeeze. Squeeze. This one is probably going to be orange, I would think. And then this one can be yellow. So let's start with the yellow here. Wait, this is orange? I think this was red. What two colors make orange? Yellow and red. Little drops. What are you doing? It's not the lid's on. Oh, the lid's on. That's why. We've got our white, we've got our yellow. You can definitely see the difference there. Yeah. All right, butter is ready. Ready pour it right in. Here's your butter. That's just going to give us a little bit yeah. of liquidity to the mixture that we have here that seems a little dusty. So, alright, so let's go for colors. The white, the orange, and the, yellow. and the yellow. Let's get this counter dusted off so we can roll this out and start making our shapes. Yeah. Okay, so we have our flower. No, stop. Dusting the counter means spreading it. Mm -hmm. Dusting it. Thank you. We have a dusted counter, finally. It's all dirty. I want to lick it. It doesn't taste like anything, it's just flour. Mm. All right, so we are going to, we got to get some stripes going here. Look. Keep hey, going. I can, look, the counter's so dusty I can draw. Making a stick figure. So the top part of the candy corn, corn is usually like the smallest part. Yeah. So this line, we want it to be like really like thin compared to the others. So, so we have a line here that goes from here to here of our what will be our white dough. So uh -huh. we're gonna scoot that up. Okay. Next, what color comes next, Paxton? Oh. Orange. Okay, now we do another line. With some dust, dust, dust. Do it, do it, do it. With some dust, 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 dust. 
it's interesting because with the extra butter and the food coloring and whatever else, for some reason these doughs have slightly different textures to them. So, yeah. and last it. but definitely not least, yellow and butter. I'm eating it. All right, here we go. We're gonna, we got three stripes. I know you guys can't see this, but you will in a moment. We got three stripes, they're all pressed together. So we're gonna get a butter knife and we're gonna cut ourselves some what shape? Triangle. Triangle. All right, so here's our pan. We're gonna put these guys on, okay? Mm -hmm. Put that right there. Here we go. These are going to be some ginormous cookies, I feel like. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a giant cookie. Right? So hopefully I... You guys can't see this, but this is a giant cookie. Alright, so I'm going to use a spatula to try to pick all this up so it all stays together. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Let's come from, come at it from the other side. Yeah, mmm, that did not work out. That looked yummy. So maybe I can reassemble it on the pan. No? Mm, maybe. I think. Maybe. Okay. I can't. I. You know what? I really wish I had found some triangle shaped cookie cutters because. This is not as easy as it sounded, so. Woohoo! Here we go, folks. This is what we have for our candy corn dough. Mm. We got one on the pan. That took about 50,000 years. Forever. So, there's that going for us. Let's give it another try, folks. Hmm. This one is probably even bigger than the last one, so let's huh. see. <gasps> that came up so much nicer! Oh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cookie number three. Actually, number two. Oh, no, number three. I'm, I'm being distracted by eating my flour. There we go. There's a, these ones are coming out good now. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah. Flower patty, flower patty, flower patty, 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 flower patty, flower patty, flower patty. Stop. It's a flower patty. Flower patty, yay. Here we go. We got another guy here ready to go on a baking sheet. Yeah. How do we feel about making upside down candy corns? Good. Because now we have the dough that we do have. We have more of the white dough than we do of the yellow dough. And the yellow dough was on the bottom. And there we go. So, so now we're going to cut them upside down. So that'll be... Interesting. Here we go scoot that away. Yummy. Now I have to try to pick it up from the other side. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Our yellow disconnected a little bit, but we still have a triangle shape going, so that's good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Here, I'll just do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So much easier. I just made three cookies in like two seconds. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we're just going to have some weird random cookie. That I can eat. I can eat that one. You can eat this one? Oh, good for you. With no bacon on it. There we go. Random cookie. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'm going to eat. 
So we chose the darker nonstick pan, which means you have to put the temperature at 350 degrees. And because we have larger cookies, the ingredients, the instructions actually say cook it eight to 10 minutes. So why don't you guys go check out this break dance and we'll be right back. that we did have. So this guy lost his head. Oh. So next we wanted to show you, so this would be the traditional candy corn pattern. And this, this would be the upside down version. I feel in my personal opinion that the traditional version came out a lot better as far as like color. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So Paxton, what do you think of the overall look of our cookie? I would say winner winner chicken dinner. All right, well, what do you think of the smell? It really gets out the smell, the butter, and then mixed with a sugar cookie, I would say it's definitely winner winner chicken dinner. Okay, so I think you should go with eating this one yeah. because this was the traditional yeah. layout that we mm -hmm, were going mm -hmm, for. Mm -hmm. So here you go. It, it's big and it's okay. soft, so it breaks apart easily. Good. It's soft, but it's also crispy at the same time. Mmm. Soft and crispy. That's interesting. So it comes apart like all easy. Mmm. But it has that tiny crisp to it. Yeah. Mmm. That mm -hmm. sugar cookie crisp. Yeah. Mmm. So, I will say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I say, winner, <coughs> winner, chicken dinner, too. Oh, everybody, thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can join us next week. You're not going to want to miss that episode. 